think that's an interesting question. Why does the Pulitzer Prize matter? The award tries to go to a novel that's about American themes. And it's a distinctly American award. So they are looking more than just excellence. Which novel embodies the American experience best in that year? So that's something I'd like us to come to with each of these books and ask, well, why is this a Pulitzer worthy novel? Well, here at Donnelly Library, we wanted to partner with the Humanities Council because we're always looking to build relationships with other organizations that want to foster a love of lifelong learning and an appreciation for the humanities. I think it's very important to celebrate anniversaries like the Pulitzer because it gives people a real reason to go back and explore a lot of the great works of literature that they might have always been meaning to read, might have always been on their list, and this is a good time for them to do that. Well, we've got five different books, and it's a great range of novels that both cover different topics in American history, from slavery to issues going on on Native American reservations to what's happening in the American suburbs. So a great diversity of topic, but also a great diversity of authors. We're starting with Toni Morrison, which I think is a big name that will draw a lot of people in. I found the brutality, you know, about slavery just, I had such a hard time. Um, I'm glad I read it. I think it's important. I think America is still haunted, and so it's an important book. Um, I found her writing style very interesting. Uh, I, I noticed a lot of criticism is that it's fragmented and the back and forth. Yeah. But I thought it was kind of interesting. I had just been looking at a book on um, quilts by slaves. Yeah. And when you look at it, it tells a story, but it's very fragmented because their lives were so fragmented. I'm from um, Southern Texas, so we talk about um, the same issues that Morrison talks about, especially the ghosts of slavery and everything. That's not really something that's brought up even in our history classes in school and everything. So she's very in your face about it with mm -hmm. her writing too. So it, it definitely um, broadened my perspective. What is the end game to this book is what kept me going and honestly I'm, I'm really glad I did finish it just to see the characters and how they are now off. That satisfaction, like yes I finished it. She escaped that situation but she did not deal with it and the whole novel like you have to go back and forth and I don't know if the author made that choice for us because you, you read something and you're like, what is this? And then you move on and you'll be like, oh, then you have to go back and read what you read before to make the connection. So the whole thing is like the serrated knife. You're listening to everybody and their views and you're kind of like sitting there thinking, oh, okay. Didn't really think about that. Maybe it should be something I should think into, maybe I should tackle the book again, try to see it from their perspective instead of mine. When I read this novel, I think about how memory works for the people in this novel. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm over 50 years old, I can, I think, kind of adjust my own memories. If I do something embarrassing, I can look back on it and say, oh, that wasn't that embarrassing, that wasn't that bad. I can kind of control my memories. I can look back to the good old days, you know, which probably weren't that great, you know. But here, the memories are, like pushing people around. Yeah, they're overwhelming. They are they're taking control of the plot of this of this world that they that these people live in. And that is what's so alien to me and so fascinating to me about how the how the story evolves. What I hope primarily is that we're able to have good discussions about literature, have some fun, and become more knowledgeable about these great set of novels. I'd also like to see literacy increase both in the community and throughout the region of New Mexico. I want um, my generation and the older generation to come together in one, the same topic, but yet to see it tearing apart differently, see the way the old generation thinks the new generation things, bringing old ideas and new ideas and kind of finding a common ground. Baby Sex in particular said, why do I care about freedom? You know, it's not going to be any different. And then the second that, she's, that she was free, she felt completely different. Mm -hmm. Really do value the idea of community reading groups. They allow us to bring a cross section of the Las Vegas community together that otherwise would never get together in most circumstances. I believe the New Mexico Humanities Council should sponsor these programs. They do a lot for New Mexico communities, especially for smaller communities like Las Vegas um, that might not have access to as much cultural programming as other places. Mm -hmm.